Hey. Bro, we've been playing a lot of Soul Hacker on the channel recently, bro. We really have, man, man. I couldn't, I could not play this. Hold on. I said, I could not play this joint at the way it ended yesterday, bro. I got, I got to make it back to the safe house. Well, let me see if this audio is cool. Oh, all right, all right. We got Seth PG3 here and Navarov back in the Soul Hacker 2. And uh, of course, of course, we gotta go walk all the way back. But not really, the little, the little uh, portal thing right here, so we don't gotta go far. Careful. Bro, how buddy spawned yellow? Is he scared? Is he scared? Why he running away? I was close. <sighs> Bro. No okay. Bro. Bro, I was I wasn't trying to do that, bro. Okay. I was not trying to do that, bro. Okay. Let's see some. Get him, do it, Sizo. Finish them off, Sizo. It's beyond me. I was not trying to do that. Did I not? Um, buddy is basically resistant to that. I guess I could use the ice on him, right? Now, is it me or are they doing the insane amount of damage right now? Die, she just one shot it, buddy. Not bad. Just getting All you How about this? All you Man, they got all the weak spots. I guess I, I should get him out of the way. Alright, we got three stacks. Too late for regrets now. I didn't. I wasn't even trying to get in this fight, bro. I just wanted to know if he was going to run away, bro. That's all I was trying to do. It'd be nice if it killed him. Oh, it did. I oh, know nah, that death was pretty free. It's never that easy. Ho oh, oh, ho! With this kind of power, I'm not just a gar. Uh, I said gar. I was about to say garbage. Grandpa. I'm the grandest pa, bro. Buddy called himself the grandest pa. He might be on his own. I low key just want to find some more, bro. Are they gonna run for me? Incoming. Oh, nah, that nah, that other one was just a turkey. Then he was just a turkey, or was it because I was? Oh, let me let me die, right, bro. Chill, chill, gang. Get out of here, get out of here with that. All right, let's, let's let's get up out of here now, man. Bro, look out! Look how we uh. Oh, well, I was about to say what it's on it. We going back to the safe house. <laughs> Anybody give me a little cussy? Look at Miller. What? What is going on? Are they supposed to be like that? What what is happening? At the entrance, it's ever, I can't advise regarding your experience on the soul make it soul matrix. Ringo's illusion can import summer skills as well as assign ion orders, which help maintain it. Oh, okay, okay. This canal is, is unlocked. Can now be explored. Make your way through their psyches and endeavor to raise their soul level. Okay, soul matrix has expanded. <laughs> There is no need to be surprised. This place, this place reflects both of our mental states. So it's not that strange to see manifestations of us in here. You probably already know this, but you can access the arrow sector through here. That's my section of the soul matrix. If there's anything you don't know about the current status of the arrow sector, just X. Anything you want to know? Ringo. Um, progression? Seems like you've reached one F. We still got a long road ahead of us, Ringo. But hope we'll get through it together. Anything else you want to talk about? Mm. Next goal. Does doesn't it seem like you can open any gates right now? Just bide your time and keep your ears open. Must progress further through the story. Okay. 
Hmm. Lockable gates. From the looks of it, there aren't any gates on the new floors you can open right now. See ya. Okay. Let's do this. I see your sizeo sector. If you want to know what's going on around here, just ask me. I'll be around. Then again, you don't. You haven't really entered sizeo sector at all yet. But trust me, once you do, it's going to be cool. I hope so. Let's do this. This leads to Milady sector. If you want to know what's going on in this place, ask. That said, it seems like you haven't entered Milady sector yet. I'll tell you more once you've been inside. Acquire a new summoner. New Welcome. have been added. Welcome, I Ringo. I am you who existed before Ringo was created. Another expert of your splintered being. I am the fruit of your experience. That's how I preside over the inherited skills you may recall. Moreover, I exist to inform you of the, of the anomalies detected in the Soul Matrix and issue ion directives to investigate in them the accordingly. Through this, you may come to better understand the self or the truest manifestation of the self what called Ringo. Desire, Ringo. Now, what do you desire, Ringo? Learn new skills? Um, new learn some of this function is not within your grasp, Ringo. Oh, what should we, what should we get? I don't know. This is going to cost a little MP. I don't know, bro. I guess this one. A good summoner has always got to know when to quit. When things get here, you got to call a retreat. If all, oh, once you're dead, that's it. Huh? It's over for you. Hold on, Sizo. Didn't you die already? Exactly. What do you desire, Ringo? New function. So can I learn the other one? I can unlock the other one too. How many of these do I get? Bet you Ion folks think us humans are pretty stupid for putting so much yep. stock in luck. Kinda yeah, but it's not like I don't understand. Not knowing the future makes you take any chance you get to affect the outcome. <laughs> Yeah, you can. Yeah, you do get it. You get in the mindset like just a little more, just one more shot. This huh? might be the big one. Sure. And wait, what are huh. you talking about? Huh? Gambling? Why do you ask? What do you desire? Really? Talking about gambling. Get him out of here, bro. Oh, request. Is these side missions? Except, what does it do? Is it about to put me back in there? What do you desire? We gonna Ringo? we gonna come in back to that. I don't. Watch, you really sound like a robot. Or android, or, or whatever you want to call Ringo. I don't know. I guess you could call her a cyborg. Excuse me. So makes reflect the mental state of you and your allies. As mindset changes, the structure will also change accordingly. Deepen your connection with the with another in days to come. And the man you will understand it is sure to be reflected in the soul matrix. You can now host hangout events at bar. And hang out and oh, our pets. We making our way right there after we after we leave the safe house. How are you feeling, Ringo? Fine so far. I can head out anytime. What's up? Uh, right. Oh damn! I skipped the bias on that. of the last covenant's bearer. If my information's good, and I believe it is. Someone fitting his description has been hiding out in the abandoned subway. I just feel like as soon as we find him, bro, he gonna be dead, bro. That's just seem like the, it's, it's, that's just gonna happen, bro. Everybody we've been having to look for be dead as soon as we meet him. And we just soul hack the last three. And then it caused a problem. I don't think we should soul hack no more if we're... Well, not no more, but try not to do it as much. Subway system? Oh, I remember that mess. An unused subway system. It, it sounds like some bad gonna happen Do you down remember there. Remember, ten years ago, there was a lot of talk about public works building fancy new subway lines, earthquake-resistant architecture, and all. Mhm. Mm yeah. Turns out that died in bureaucratic hell. Too much red tape to fund it. They ended up scrapping it Imagine. midway and reinforcing the existing lines instead. So, with all these fancy new subway tunnels unfinished and unused, the homeless communities moved in. Fat cats weren't too happy about can that. Can we really can we really talk about it's really a tree in an arrow safe house? How did he grow that tree? How did he get that in here? Casualties of the unemployment crisis. One of the unfortunate downsides to the AI industry's world of tomorrow. Crazy to mm -hmm. think a Kuzunoha got hit by that though. You'd never expect to see one of them living on the streets. 
But I guess they're only human after all. Who is this Kuzunoha guy anyway? You're talking like that name's got some weight to it. It definitely seemed like he buddy be busy in the street. The Kuzunoha family is a line of renowned devil summoners. They've been protecting this mm. country from supernatural threats for generations. Uh, yeah. And Mangetsu Kuzunoha lives up to their legacy. He's an old man now, but a legend in his own right. So I hear, anyway. Huh. If you calling that man an old man, he gotta be like 50, right? 45 plus 50. The terms with yeah, most of the Kuzunoas have been. Historically, they've sided with Yadagarasu when it comes to national defense. So what y'all saying is low key that when we go to find this man, he shouldn't be dead, right? That's what everybody's saying. He should be alive, right? Because even though he an old man, he know how to take care of himself, bro. So he should still be justice, alive. Huh? <laughs> right. Justice. No comment. Oh look, why did why are they yellow? What what does that mean? Why they? I guess. So they're literally heroes. Justice is, is subjective. Uh. Justice is subjective. I guess. Everyone's got their own ideas about it. That's clear enough from looking at everyone on our team. We can't approach this like there's only one right way to do things. Couldn't agree mm. more. Kuzunoha's work serves specific people and specific purposes. There are plenty of others who have to deal with the fallout. So like he he like you're making it sound like this man's some type of hitman or something. Justice is ignorant or a liar. Of course he's not helping the Phantom Society. What they're doing is evil. Plain and simple. Hey, oh, he got course. a point. They're the bad guys, and you're the good guys. You absolute child. Bro, all right, all right. We not about to have no beef up in this safe house, bro. You better relax. Ugh, oh, you're like cats and dogs. Could you two please chill out for one second? Hey, man, they've been beefing since day <sighs> one. So, what were we talking about again? How Mangetsu Kuzunoha's got our last covenant. Mangetsu was actually involved in Yadagarasu's research into the Covenants. Knock on lot of way the game hit. It don't seem like this game is like long. Cause if we already buy, find the last bull and we already got them three on our team, it seems like the game gonna be over pretty fast. I could be wrong though. I mean, it's it's obvious that I'm putting the pearly in right now. That buddy is gonna be dead when we find him. Yes, I'm not surprised you didn't know. I'm sure it was highly classified, even within Yadagarasu's ranks. So what was Mangetsu digging into? Anything and everything Covenant-related. You're pretty well informed on your enemies. I'd hope so. I was part of the team led by Iron Mask when we raided Mangetsu's lab a year ago. You... raided his lab? That's what I said. Iron Mask was after two Covenants there. Mangetsu held one, and his assistant had the other. So Mangetsu mm. was sitting on two covenants in that lab. I imagine wow. that's how they made such progress in their research, with two hosts on hand. <laughs> yeah, most no likely. No way to say for sure. Not anymore, anyway. As for the raid itself, well, there's no telling if that was successful either. Iron Mask killed Mangetsu's aid and took his covenant. After that, everything was chaos. Just when it seemed like the battle was about to turn, the whole facility went up in flames. I don't know this this game you do it's a lot more dialogue than you who been you honestly be fighting. <laughs> Mongetsu died damn. and we lost his covenant. Ain't nothing wrong with that though. I thought. I don't know, I'm definitely gonna have to find a way to get my love well faster though. Except now. It sounds like Mangetsu's been alive this whole time. Hiding out in the abandoned subway, huh? Where'd you get all this info, Fig? I mean, she is an agent of Ion. She got all the info. So, Seriously? That's all? Just rumor. I kind of figured you'd have a more, I don't know, high-tech approach here. Yeah, hey, I thought the well, same way, bro. 
that is, accessing the subway surveillance network. Look at her. No, you go ahead and say it. You was about to hack it. Here's the occupying homeless destroyed every camera in the place. So that proved useless. Instead, I check social media, private email servers, the summoner net, and other databases. Those led me to certain conspiracy theories picked up and sensationalized by the tabloids. Strange incidents proposed to have supernatural origins. And several hits had one thing in common. They all noted that their respective incidents involved a one-armed old man. I'm guessing that's the other boy we gotta go far. Yes. More so because he seems to be responsible for solving many of these supernatural problems. Single-handedly, mm. too. So to speak. I hypothesize that this man must at least be a devil summoner. Possibly one of staggering ability. Hey, I mean, hey, if he cooking, if he bodying all the supernaturals with one arm, Fits the then he, he might be on or something. You think that's Mangetsu then? They gotta yes. be him. I mapped out the sightings of this one-armed veteran, and based on the data spread, he is most likely to be found in the abandoned subway lines. Buddy just be chilling in the abandoned subways. Yeah, he got it. Seems well liked by the local homeless population. They apparently know him as Doc. Doc. Oh, what he be? What he, he be helping Damn. them or something? Never doubted you for a second. Still, that subway complex is a pretty big place to search. By the time we actually found the guy, we'd be ready for an old folks' home ourselves. It's true yeah. that we don't have a lot of time. Phantom's probably on the hunt for Mangetsu too. I just hope Buddy is not dead when we find him. But I can narrow the range with some time to analyze further. Yeah, you should definitely do that. I can then. rank my data points by priority and relevance, sort sightings by chronological order, and try remapping. You go, Fig. My partner, folks. <laughs> Guess we're on standby <laughs> until then. How about we head to Ropo Realm then? Got a couple more demons now, right? You're technically well, uh, a summoner yeah. too, Ringo. Even if you're not exactly a normal one. I think it's about time you met Uncle Vic. Uncle Vic? Who the fuck is that? Vic, huh? Why? Who's he? He's a hard guy to describe. Probably better like you know if I just take you to see him. Want me to lead the way? Sure, if you're offering. Let's go. Are we out then? How are you? Oh, I thought he I thought she was about to talk. A moment, Ringo. I was planning to give this to you once you fully recover. You obtain the vitamin spaghetti. Hmm. Is this human food? Think? I propose meals as part of, of our operation. It would seem it, it would seem a good meal can greatly enhance both one's performance and one's motivation. Right. Our atomic our autonomy is, sim is similar to humans, so it's safe to assume we'll reap the same benefits. Huh, so you want to try eating? Do you mean? <laughs> at any rate, I will arrange it so that you can eat at the safe house whenever you like. Bro, you ain't gotta fake it up, bro. You know you want to try some food, bro. It's okay. You ain't gotta make it seem like you're only Roger. doing it for me. Well, Roger, they do, they do say you can't fight on an empty stomach. I'll keep it in mind. Meals, but you can gain to help your boat. Right? How long is, how long is this effect going though? How long? Is, you know, I gotta get a meal now. I'm my own preference. Eating meals that were okay. That will result in weaker effects. Everybody gotta like spaghetti, right? Allies recover as you. Bro, Melody don't like spaghetti. Why is she the only black one? You the only one black blinked out. No way you don't like spaghetti, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way. Thanks for the food. Always appreciate a good meal. <laughs> That's definitely bitter, but I can't tell it's health food. I can tell. It's so bitter. I feel like this food's thrown me into a whole new dimension. <sighs> I see the taste indicates some ingredients are shared with traditional Chinese herbal. This game pass achievement thing is in my way. Herbal medicine. Pretty sharp, Fig. Yeah, it's hard. it hits hard, but it's definitely going to wake up my system. It's my tongue's telling me anyway. 
Bro, put your tongue back in your mouth, bro. I'll take everyone's dishes. All right, we just bust down the mill. Everybody already, you can navigate. All right, we we going we going to go to the uh that spot first though. Oh, where was that at again? Was it this? I believe it was this. We got a lot of money now, so we can go to the bull, uh, the bull with that, the, the weird ass glasses. We go over here, man. Let me chill at the bar so we can get a little boost. New items are in stock. A new hangout event is available. Bar head, head run. You can spend time to with your teammates by talking with them. You can learn how your allies think and feel. They will, will deepen your mutual understanding of each other, raising our soul level. Hangouts, okay. It'll be today. Hang out. Who should you call? Are we gonna go and we gonna hang out? Can we just keep doing this or, or like is it a limit? Moment of respect. Okay. Oh, it ain't no dialogue. They just drink a little bit and that's it. Oh, oh. So uh, you kind of just called me out here all of a sudden. Did you need <laughs> something? Nah, nothing in particular. Just wanted to hit you up. Cool. If what? I leave then. I, no, don't go. Come on, I even ordered us drinks and everything. So some of them must lead pretty interesting lives, huh? Seems like there's a twist around every corner. You think it's, it's interesting? Yeah, I guess you and Feg would, given your situation and all. Yep, honestly, everything you guys talk about is interesting. It's pretty professional. And you know, we are a team after all. I, th I thought it'd be nice to just take it easy and chat for a bit. It doesn't conflict with my mission for I either, since I'm learning all kinds of new stuff. Well, I do owe you guys. At least I can do is hang out with you. But what? I, but what am I supposed mm. to talk about? Oh, anything's fine, really. Let's see. Do you like beer? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I do. I mean, I like other stuff too. But yeah, typically I'll drink beer. Huh? Why is that? Any reason for it? A reason for drinking beer? Well, so there's this old detective show I used to watch when I was a kid. There was this one scene where, after the case got solved, the lead detective would drink a beer with his team. That kind of mature ass atmosphere really re resonated with me back then so i swear i just like that once i got older I guess that was the start of it also. at all and then again all that might bro they could have added they could have let them talk here bro they let them talk any other way they could have let them talk here bro it just would have been would have made sense i guess the real reason i like it's because it's cheap and easy to drink the pricey stuff kind of uptight yes, if you ask me uh you're more of a common man than i thought does y y Yada Garasu pay you that little? Nah, it's just person who tastes. I'm not the most luxurious person. Hey, whatever makes you happy, right? Yeah, some people are just like that. I often go the cheap route, even if it's time consuming. If not, if not that, I'll think to myself, do I really need this before buying something new? I guess that's rational. Well, that's boring. Hey, Mike. Nice. What size do you want, Mike? I guess that's rational. Which rational one? with you. Nothing wrong with going cheap so long? long as it works. Plus, if you cut back costs, you can save the extra money you have for when you really mm. need it, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Rational, huh? I haven't thought about it last much like that. But all, but was all, but was all that we talked about really fine for you? I doubt it'll be any practical use. No way, it was more than enough. Thanks to to this, I feel like I got to know you better. Anyway, Arrow, I hope you and me. Keep this up, both working God, together, and hanging out. Yeah, likewise, Rango. Welcome. All right, Melody's next. She's the highest, though. I, she like in 20s, 22, 23, maybe. Huh? Kind of surprised you actually bothered the show up, Melody. Did you call me out here just to be rude, or should I be thankful that an agent of the almighty Ion designed to spend time with a lowly <laughs> human? I mean, we're not that almighty, especially us, since we've been downgraded for the mission. Though I can imagine you're not really much for those social True. settings, huh? It's not like I've never been to a bar before, still. It's true that I don't often end up in places with this kind of ambience. Whenever I went to, went to a bar, it was either alone yeah. or with him. What, you never gone out to grab food with other Phantom Society operatives? Definitely not, we don't have that kind of relationship. All of them are either in either kids intoxicated by the group's darker 
rhetoric or pretenders and hypocrites obsessed with keeping everyone at arm's length. They might be some of the greatest summoners in the business, but I never want to go drinking with any of them. No doubt they saw me the same way. Ah, huh. then how about the guy who killed you at the shipping district? RS, right? Was it the yes. same thing with him? I'd say so. I don't recall properly meeting him before then. Yeah, it makes sense. You two had totally different styles anyway. All that stuff about rapping, was it? Like, uh, yo, yo, I'm dropping rhymes like a rhymer. Bro, what, bro? Come on. Come on, Ringo. You gotta, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Working for my money like I'm a part-timer. I'm not the cop. I'm not a crime-er. Yeah, don't, don't do that again. Or something like that anyway. Did you just come up with that on the spot? Yep, not bad, right? It's certainly a unique style. She low-key telling yes. you it's terrible. Yes, Melody Sill Melody Sill of approval. Anyway, we were here talking about RS. Actually. Yes. Despite everything, he was a very capable summoner. He led some of our most dangerous operations against Gata Garasu and did it well. But he preferred the spotlight, of course, and my specialties demanded more subtlety. We never had many much contact with each other. From what I understand, he was a kind leader. Very supportive of his teammates. Plenty of young summoners and his crew looked up to him. Oh, well, I never would have guessed. I got the idea that all these dark summoners had to be really gloomy or spiteful people. Well, I already told you, the Phantom Society is composed of children and pretenders. You say that, but weren't you Iron Man's lover? So if, if everyone's in there was either a child or a, pre or a pretender, then which um, was he? Well, I suppose they're not mutually what? exclusive. Huh? No. Nothing. Maybe I have a bit too much to drink. Bro, what you mean by that? Welcome. That's the last one, man. Look at Buddy really got a scarf on, bro. He really got any hey. type of... This man got shark teeth. He always covering his eyes. He do got that all white suit on, though. He might be on his own with that. Well, this is a surprise, Ringo. Never forget you'd be looking to take me out on a date. See, I just knew he was going to say something like that, bro. Buddy what? can't help himself. What? I thought dates were for people who's got some attachment to each other for just whoa, hanging out. Eesh, kind of stings when you put it like that. I am curious about you, but you're really in a position to talk about attachment. I'm pretty sure you're, you're keeping your distance from me, too. Mm. Huh? How do you figure? I guess I don't have a specific reason, though maybe I, I've just noticed because I'm coming at it with a unusual perspective. I mean, look, you basically act the same around everyone, right? Everyone gets the same version of sides, though. I figured... That means you're either a totally open book or you never really open up to everyone. And it's all just a front. One of these two. One of those two, anyway. I'm just a friendly guy, is all. Everyone's in the world, just a new pal waiting to happen. But you act like everyone's a potential enemy. And it looks to me like it's a deliberate choice, not an unconscious tendency. Am I totally off the mark here? Nah, I mean, I've been through a lot, you know. It's pretty hard for me to really open up to anyone. And it's nothing to do with whether I like or dislike someone. It's something kind of beyond that, you yep. get me? Yeah, but that's just part of being part of human nature, right? When I say I want to learn more about humans, that includes complicated stuff <laughs> like this. Fine by me, though. I gotta say, I don't exactly feel normal enough to make a good test case for all, all mankind. As freelance summoners, we do anything for the right price. Our loyalties are bought and sold, and everyone that's knows it. Goes. it. If you want to survive in that crowd, then you gotta learn how to be careful. And part of, and part of that is not trusting anyone but yourself. But you trusted that girl and you got shot. See? See, how you gonna say that? But you got shot by a shorty that you was trying to get at. Look like you trusted her to me. <laughs> I see. Doesn't that kind of life get suffocating though? Carefree. Nah, not really. At the very least, it means you don't have to worry about ruining anyone else's life but your own. It's like my mentor told me. Solitude is the only true freedom. True freedom, huh? And that's why you choose to be alone, so you'd be free. Huh? What? I was just trying to sum it up. You can tell me if I'm wrong. It's well. just... Nah, never mind. If I talk about this stuff anymore, I'll ruin the drink, drinking party vibe, and I get some real principles against party file. I actually like talking about this kind of stuff, though. I'm just saying now it's not the time. I gotta preserve some of the mystique, you know? That's part of my the binary hmm. charm. Uh-huh. Well, I don't push it. 
Either way, we've made a decent team so far. So yeah. Let's keep it up. Yeah, likewise. Welcome. Bro. Bro, I Welcome. just got a new one for that, bro. Oh, all right. What'll it be? What's takeout? You know, okay. I don't know. You ain't more levels lower than your enemies. Oh, I might have to get this, bro. More XP for just being stronger than your enemies? Welcome. I might have to check that out. Alright, well now we got a group event. Ain't that, ain't that nice? But he never stopped moving, bro. He Ringo. he never stopped doing that animation, bro. Look at his wrist. I know his wrist getting tired. So how about it, Ringo? Gotten used to the world yet? Has the fun? Has the fun wore off? No way. I'm always running into new things. There's still so much crazy stuff out there. You're such a child. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, remember, I'm basically Actually. a newborn. Still, after looking at the city, something's been on my mind. Hey. And what's that? Well, this city looks so fancy and high-tech, right? But even with all these comforts, the people here haven't really seemed happy. Even without all the apocalypse stuff, I did vaguely understand that human society wasn't doing so great, but still. Huh? We aren't? Oh yeah, once you get away from the glitch, you really see it. Your technology, economy, culture, everything's stagnating. Wow, stagnating? Sounds brutal when you say it like that, but not exactly Listen, inaccurate. It's not just here either. They say most most major cities across the world haven't changed at all in the past three or four decades. It's like people are, are only living to be overworked, living on instant mass processed food because that's all their time and money can afford them. Even their nostalgia is being commodified, repackaged, and sold back to the one. Well, look at them. The city's advertising will tell you that. Yeah, they're also busy trying to assure their future. They can't let themselves worry about the pre even with all that stagnation, Ringo found her way to us. Can't think of a bigger shakeup than that. It seemed almost symbolic. The question is of what? What will I make of all of this? You can predict our future to an extent, right? To an extent, it'd be hard to see a way out of this, even for us. I guess that shows just how complicated and deep-rooted the problem is. As, ridic as ridiculous as it sounds, the Great Ones apocalypse is more of a realistic outcome than humanity, humanity itself changing. That's just insane. Why, why are they both yellow, but arrows not? That's just insane. Makes you wonder if that's why some people turn to the Great Ones, because the world's already let them down. Yes, this seems likely enough. I suppose it's like a provincial god in that sense, right. focusing the faith of people and providing an answer to their wishes. Mm. Is there anything we can do? We're just dumb devil summoners, man. We're, we're not all powerful. Agreed. There's no point in wasting our energy on an impossible problem. This broken world's a better sacrifice than it what? is at home. Ability. What? I know you think the world is doing melody, but we still have to protect it. That's your problem. Don't tell me this is what you wanted to discuss. Thanks, but bye no bye. thanks. I'm not done here. Take care of the bill, will you? Oh, I said I'm not. No I'm way. done here. Wait, you're making me tank it. What? Welcome. Okay, alright, that's it. Okay, alright, we can go over to this store over here, bro. That low key took a long time. Let me know if you need help. What you got in here, bro? Um. I guess. Ain't really nothing in here for real, for real, man. Nothing doing me any good. Why did John say, bro, all them Jones drop my MP? Why do it? Well, for her at least. He don't really get no downside to him. I guess I could give. Oh, he get the defense too. Um. 18. That don't really. That just. Uh. I guess. I guess I pick this one. Bro, that nah, actually, that's pretty expensive, bro. I don't think I want to do that. Why is everything in here so expensive, bro? Like, yo, uh, I'm gonna come back here. here. See ya. We ain't gonna get on your fit, bro. I'm gonna leave you alone today. 
I'm not gonna talk about you today, bro. We go over to the um Opsmith. Maybe get a couple upgrades to our weapons. I feel like buddy too pricey in there, man. We yeah. don't got enough bread for that. A oh, ring of good time and let me see your comp for a sec. Oh man, yeah, no mistake in this thing packing a crazy nice. amount of power. I've heard about the crazy functionality you've added here. Sebast or something. But from what I can tell, you can do a lot more with those. It takes special part with some tinkering, but I can set you up with some crazy skills. I'm tell I'm talking showstopper stuff that could win great. battles. Let's call them commander skills. What you think? Badass, right? What well, what you want specifics? Fine, let me give you the technical Got explanation. It. So this conversion skill, I, it'll let you change your equipped demon mid-battle. Good for switching up your strategy on the fly. Us using stack optimization gives you a, tem a temporary boost to the number of demons you got stacked. Those bastards don't know what hit them. And what? And that's it, basically. Don't cool, right? This. If you want to install a com commander skill, you're going to need a material called Totem Memory plus some other parts for specific upgrades. you don't have the material, just go and wreck some demons from them. You won't regret well, it, I swear. Lingo command. I mean, okay. Be in here. Nah, hers is pretty, uh, pretty pricey too. Special effect, critical rate. Got that. Um, I don't think I should get anything for Ringo. Actually, I should probably get something for them. I'm fired. He's still. This would probably oh I just peep they all got their own different jones. Melodies with attack. I mean that would make sense, right? She already got the three plus attack boost by default. Will this be yeah, I could, yeah, I could give her this. I can give her that, you know. Can I get for you? Nothing too crazy. I can I can get this then. Definitely gonna have to this costs a lot. Um. Will this be all? Thanks. Get him that. All right, now we can get that, or we can get this. Cost physical skill. No, it, it definitely makes sense to get this. Damn, I just basically went broken here, bro. Golly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here, bro. You, you didn't took enough money from me. Don't break it, okay? You, you didn't took a lot of money from me, bro. You, you just, damn. It's great to see you. What you got in here, bro? It's a bunch of stuff I ain't really oh, are. We, we gone. Look at Buddy got the hood on. Bro, I thought Buddy had a great beard. I, I said a great, I mean green beard. All right, we, we cool off this in here. I think we, I think we, we are. I don't want to spend no more money, honestly. We are in screws going, right? Where are we supposed to go? Why they got this creepy ass clown music playing? I'm like, what, bro? Oh, because it's the circus. Nice. You telling me, buddy, buddy, buddy is in the, at the circus, bro? See, they got Uncle Vic working at the circus. It's crazy. Whoa, this tent is huge. You want me to see a circus show or something? So it well, seem like something close to that anyway what's that supposed to mean you'll find out soon enough come on let's head in okay bro, I just noticed that thing was flying over there bro I didn't even peep at first good check it out this this is my partner the dragon queuing long this guy is all about electricity. Not only can he reflect electric attacks, but he can also learn Mazio. He'll zap you all your enemies at once. 
Just you wait. Yadagarasu won't stand a chance. Yeah, he sound like he getting bodied in one hit. Hey, this is your first time in Ropo round. If you're heading to the go, go to be careful not to get on the ringmaster's bad side. Welcome to the Cirque du Gometer. Bro, what is this nigga wearing, bro? Is that his skin color or is that pink? I am the owner and ringmaster of this grand circus. You may call me Victor. Hey, good to see business is booming. I've got someone here you should meet, Victor. This is Ringo. She's basically a new really devil got... summoner. Bro, no way the hmm. man is that white. Uh... <laughs> oh nah, this nigga crazy. Nigga just randomly started laughing. I see. So you are one of the minds beyond mankind. Most intriguing indeed. How he know that? You wanna elaborate on that? <laughs> this nigga keep no, laughing, bro. Not now, at least. Uh... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's something wrong with buddy. Victor's definitely an eccentric, but you can trust him. I, I hope so. Barely covers it. So, what are we here for again? This circus is where we can fuse our demons. Fuse our demons? Oh, That's a thing? this is just a demon thing. So, no elephants on unicycles, no clowns, no hoops of fire. That's a shame. You come seeking petty clown. No, Summer. We have a show far greater to offer. The fusion okay. of two demons is the grandest circus nature could conceive. There is no greater spectacle than the moment right. of demonic life. I hope it's not expensive. I, I know I'm gonna have to pay come for it, bro. Come all to the greatest I... show on earth. Demons fused before your very eyes. How do you even Since do we're that? Here, we might as well see what we can do. Fusing will seriously boost our combat potential. Okay, Victor. Hope you put on a good show for us. Maybe I'll give us a little cut Sorry to interrupt you, Ringo. I believe I've identified the approximate location of Mangetsuku's Noha. Or at least the one armed man we believe to be him. You're bound for the central derelict subway line. I believe you'll find him hiding there. That saved us a ton of wandering around. Thanks, Fig. I mean, considering that you found him, he should now still be alive, right? Start looking for Mangetsu. Once we've taken care of the demon fusion, let's head out. Oh. Well, now it appears you van you van wank vanquish a unique demon indeed, <laughs> and defeating those rare, magnificent demons, you will also win the privilege of creating them here. Remember it well. A great power may grace our state. A demon has been added to the special fusion. Today, a new demon may join our cast. Um, bro, this they this John say level fourteen. Are you serious? No, make your normal, choice. bro. All these Jones are are high levels, bro. Why are they so high? Should see that. I'm definitely Today, gotta get my level up. Demon. Ah, magnificent. Okay. What skills shall they inherit? Um I forgot what was the regular Did we just do the recommended well, here. Behold the birth of diabolic power. Oh Bro. What in the world? Are oh, you actually need me to, to work? I was just going to chill this weekend. Best of luck. I'm Fairy Pixel and I'll call you Run Run. I totally do my best and stuff. Wow. Ah, magnificent. Which strikes your fancy? Now, make your choice. Um, we definitely, we def. Wait, so is all this free? I mean, I just didn't. 
I feel like I should come back when I get my my level high enough. That would make sense to do, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back when my level get high enough. Oh, wait, they recommended me to fuse all of them together. Okay. Let me do that then. What skills shall they inherit? Are you prepared for this? Bro, he just fused three of them things together, bro. Oh, two? Nah, bro. Me? I was just born. No, you're the one who just came alive. I'm I'm Bitcoin, the will the wilder, and I'm a bug, the paragon of screaming. Why is it talking like that? Witness the vestiges of life. That don't say six percent. Or look at these joints hella expensive. Come forth and be Demon fusion is a glare as a glorious ph phenomenon from which new life springs. Now then, offer up your demons. A fantastic, a fantastic show awaits you. Alright, uh, we can leave out, bro. You can now. What is this, bro? I wonder what made them. So wait. Well, I gotta, I gotta equip the demon back then. So we give her a boost and. In almost every category. Let me see, do I got it? Do I, nah. That's the that's the one I took. Which one did he have? Oh wait, they say he's already equipped. Wilder. Holy. Ain't that like a flower next skill? I don't know. I don't know. Should I put that on there? I guess. That kind of make her resistant to those. Dying. So I took. I took arrows, John. I don't know what else. What should I put on them then? This John got three. Should probably put the one with three skills on them then, right? It would make sense. But this is like the highest level, so. I don't know. I mean, all the signs are telling me this one is probably the best one to rock with. Be yeah, nice on. Why he just say that? Okay. I should have probably got some more of these or some more accessories, right? So they can get a boost. Okay. I think we're gonna end the video on oh, full recovery. I know everybody pretty high. We going in the video here, man. We did our little fusions. We went to the circus. Buddy Vic was kind of a creep, but it's okay. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Turn full notifications on. I'm out. We did not. We did not fight this whole. Oh yes, we did. This one did not involve no fighting for real. Which is all dialogue.